This woman was the first gospel singer to perform in Carnegie Hall. They call her the Queen of Gospel, but her name was actually Mahalia Jackson. She wasn't just gospel music's first superstar and a civil rights activist, she was also one of the most influential vocalists of the 20th century. She was born on October 26, 1911 in New Orleans, Louisiana, and they were poor, 13 of them living in a small house. In the fourth grade, she had to drop out of school to help out at home. She started singing in the church choir when she was four years old, and by the time she was 12, the church was like, yeah, she's gonna be famous. When she was 16, she moved to Chicago and started singing in local churches with a professional gospel group called the Johnson Brothers. Now, when the Great Depression hit, church attendance went up, and Mahalia Jackson was already the best gospel singer in Chicago, but now everyone knew. So now she's getting work. She's singing at presidential campaigns. She's getting record deals. She releases an album and sells a million copies. She goes on tour in Europe. They gave her her own radio show. City Radio does not play religious music from the South, but they're playing Mahalia Jackson. Well, when I tribulation get to lie, we can Despite all that, she's still constantly having to deal with racism and discrimination, so she's also an activist. She was a part of the civil rights movement from the Montgomery bus boycott, like day one. The 1963 March on Washington? Yeah, she was there. She wasn't just there, she sang right before Martin Luther King's speech. Wait, have you heard the story behind the I Have a Dream part of the speech? There came a point when while he was reading from the texts of the speech, a shout from his favorite gospel singer, Mahalia Jackson, and she shouted to him, tell him about the dream, Martin. Tell him about the dream. From there after, the balance of the speech in real time, that portion of the speech, which is most celebrated in this country and around the world, the I have a dream speech, that is not the speech that he planned to give. While she was alive, Mahalia Jackson influenced some of the most influential people. But on January 27th, 1972, she did pass away from heart failure. She had to have two funerals. And Aretha Franklin sang at one of them. Because when they asked Aretha Franklin what was her reason for singing, she told people, Mahalia Jackson. 